You click reinitialize NAS and do remember this will completely wipe the media on those drives. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So, I want to make this a very quick video here that I just sort of stumbled upon by accident because I don't know if you guys are aware, I deal with quite a lot of network attached storage devices. Uh, throughout the course of the last few years on this channel and of course the other YouTube channel, I've probably dealt with, with hundreds of different devices. But while doing that, I only have a, a moderate amount of hard drives and SSD. And all too often, once I've gone through a device to its fullest extent for you guys, I then use the same drives to reinitialize other devices. Now, at the moment I'm using a few NAS devices here and you can see a Synology and there's a QNAP. But today I'm going to focus on the QNAP because what I want to show you guys today is how to system reset and start a NAS from scratch, you know, all over. Because in the case of this device, for example, these drives were last used in a rack mount, a TVS 972XT, and I'm installing them for a software overview of a TS251B. The result is that not only is the RAID degraded, because I've pulled two of these drives from a four drive NAS, but also, the NAS itself is seeing the wrong NAS. It's nothing to do with the NAS, it's all to do with my setup and how I've chopped and changed drives while this QNAP NAS is trying to let me see the content of this media. Consequently, I've got a NAS that I need to reset. It's my fault, it's not their fault, but it's saying that this is a rack mount NAS, there's an image of the two bay that I've put the drives in, and if I go to the RAID group, it will say that it's degraded because these are two discs from a larger array. So again, fair play to the QNAP for trying to keep this NAS up and running with these NASs from another drive, but there's no denying it, and this is a scenario where you're gonna to want to system format your NAS right the way back to factory settings and wipe those discs. So in order to do this, we go to the control panel, and from here, we go to the option backup, restore. From here, we make our way over to these options, and if we've made images, we can reset to those, or go back to the factory uh, um, defaults. Now, almost certainly you're gonna be going for the first or the third option. This one will restore the NAS back to factory settings based on the OS, but format all the data from the drives. What I want to do is format this NAS and reset it right the way back to when before I even installed the operating system. You click reinitialize NAS and do remember this will completely wipe the media on those drives. You can choose to shut the device down completely, which I would do if I was sending a NAS back to the brand, or restart and get back to that initialization screen right there at the beginning. So I'm gonna click OK. And before it lets you erase the data, it will ask you to re-enter your password on this device to make sure that you are aware of what you're doing. So now he's going to restart this NAS back to refactory settings. So what I'm going to do is fast forward this to show you guys nice and quickly what exactly this device goes through during this process. And here we are back at the QTS setup screen on this NAS. You can see the IPs up there. And if we do our check of our local area network, we can have a look and see that the NAS is here. It's exactly the same NAS as before. Um, but this time, of course, because we've reset it, it would have wiped all of those hard drives and there it is there on the IP. So again, this is how it, you reset a NAS right the way back to the beginning to the way that you want it. You'll have to change everything again and that includes the username, the password and setting up your original RAID. All of that information will have been deleted. Again, you can do a semi-restore and even a partial restore in some of those settings, but this has been how to factory reset your QNAP and wipe all of your drives as quickly as possible. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.